Mob Psycho 100 has ended, thus making the climax of the serious as well as hilarious antics of the spirits and such consultation offices. But is this really the end of our journey with Mob, or does the story hold more than we assume? As we all know, Mob is the son of Saitama and Fubuki from One Punch Man. Wait, what? That isn't true. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys, that isn't true, my bad. I've been reading a lot of fanfiction lately. But the thing which is fact is true, is that the mangaka of One Punch Man and Mob Psycho 100 is the one and only One. Yeah, that's his pen name. Quite unique and minimalistic to be honest. Okay, no more going off the topic. So Mob Psycho 100 has ended, a very sad day for the not so huge but devoted fandom. This anime has always been a dark horse outperforming somewhat more popular competitors when it was released. One, who previously experimented with the infinitely powerful main character trope in the hit anime One Punch Man, is seen refining his art even further with Mob Psycho, adding more human elements to the colorless life of an all-powerful being. The results that the series produces are a light-hearted comedy with moments of serious and life-changing experience that hook you with the comedy and touch your heart with the story. But the success of Mob Psycho is dwarfing taking its predecessor's success in mind, which in my opinion is not at all fair to this masterpiece. Although it has been greatly overshadowed in the mainstream anime community. This gem of an anime is dazzling in its own space, but to be very specific here, we're just comparing the anime and not the manga. Shigeo Kageyama, aka Mob Psycho, is your average anime school kid with powers that can turn the earth flat on its belly in a few minutes. He's quite an introverted kid, suppressing all his emotions and curling into a jail of his own mind. This anime is unlike your average shonen anime, where the MC follows certain predefined steps to climb up the ladder of success, and then finds and defeats some generic demon lord. Yeah, been there, done that. Mob is just a kid who wants to enjoy life, like the other kids his age, and then one fine day, express his feelings to his crush. But a lot of responsibility is laid on his soldiers, as he regularly misses out on his student life due to his jobs, to exercise ghosts with his somewhat questionable part-time job, boss Reagan Arataka. But we will get back to that later. With three seasons and 37 episodes under its belt, excluding the OVAs, with the last season spanning 12 episodes divided into three arcs, the Divine Tree Arc, the Telepathy Mini Arc, and the... What Arc? <laughs> what a weird name. In the Divine Tree Arc, Mob's previous supernatural activities have left behind a broccoli-looking tree, with people forming cults to worship it. But as usual, all the malicious intents of every supernatural being end up meeting their death at the hands of a mob eventually. I'll try not to give too many spoilers, but this arc could be a real emotional dilemma for some people, especially the fans who have been avid readers right from Mob's manga days. This arc will elaborate more on the societal perceptions of religion and how ordinary people could be easily manipulated if they lowered their emotional guard even a bit. Although the anime plot has proven several times how easy it is to form a cult in the world of Mob, leaving the fact aside this arc is similar to some common anime tropes, where a defeated villain is kept around as comic relief. But Mob Psycho is here to turn your world upside down with character development for even the most microscopic characters, which will contribute to the story of Mob ever so slightly but have a significant impact when it comes to the art of storytelling. But wait, this is only the first arc and not the entirety of what Season 3 has to offer. In the second arc, which is the Telepathy Mini Arc, this could be considered a real anime school story as the anime focuses on the school life of Shigeo and the Telepathy Club. This is a very busy time for Mob, as he is in the midst of a lot of turmoil due to the pressure of selecting a future as he transitions into high school. Mob also has been levied the responsibility of deciding costumes for the school festival while also dealing with a major psychic threat altogether. This is really an excerpt from the life of a normal high school student, excerpt from the responsibility to save the world from psychic threats to sports or other competitions. Although the school life of Mob has been given less emphasis all throughout the first and second season, Season, this would be something that we could actually relate to. The exasperating pressure of confessing your feelings to your crush, the excitement of enjoying school events together with your friends, and most importantly, making lifelong memories by going out of your way to help your friends. This will give you the feel of an amazing slice of life anime, along with some cool psychic and out of this world twists. The third and final arc that is supposed to complete the journey of Mob with the audience isn't something you would expect of a normal shonen anime, but rather a completely different perspective on the life of a person with godlike powers. This is the arc where all the supporting characters truly shine their brightest, contributing everything they have to offer, and accumulating all the character development for a single moment that will leave you awestruck. But even among all these stars, that one that is going to shine the brightest is going to be Reagan. Yes, you heard it right. Reagan is certainly 
going to bring you along on a roller coaster ride of emotions, which will make the story conclude in the most dramatic yet tranquil climaxes you've ever seen. The story has concluded at an open end, leaving space for fans to put in their own feelings in the blanks left at the end, creating a wonderful feeling of oneness with a story they have been following for all this time. When you ask me, is this truly a good ending? As a diehard fan of the anime, I really want more. But you don't always get what you want. You don't always get everything you desire, and that is life. You'll get the last line after you watch the last season, but until then, do watch our other videos on similar topics. Goodbye.